So I guess all that's left to do is taxi briefly to make sure I've got everything correct. Ooh. Now, what is that all about? You gotta be kidding me. We relax on the freaking out. Okay. Turn it on. Should be able to look around just fine. And I'm gonna just taxi. Uh, all right, a little windy. Just because of the wind. Okay, well, this wasn't a great start already. I'm just going to up in the air again got no flaps but this is just getting the head track and evo back in the air which i can tell right away the drift from the head tracker is a lot less which makes it a lot easier to fly because i'm not constantly like trying to trim it back but there's still a little bit of wind which is always fun but we can still look around I don't know why it does this jittery thing, but it's still very fun to fly. Let's see, I think I'm in high rates. Now I might be. This jitter makes it awesome. If it wasn't for that jitter, I'd say this is really, really working well. I just give it some more throttle. Uh, let's see, what other, what were some other issues? Um, the flaps made it work really poorly. Um, and I've been in head tracking mode this whole time and it hasn't like had to trim out except for those little jitters, which just make it horrible. And it looks like I just have to look up a little bit and it fixes that, but. So, still things to work on, but in short, it's doing really well. Huh, it's interesting. I just have to look up a little bit and then it kind of fixes whatever its issues were. I'm gonna throw flaps on. And I think it's just the wind, maybe. Flaps back off. Hmm. I don't know. But I can look at these uh, light poles. It is a little bit windy. I will screenshot and show what the uh, what the radar has. Maybe it's I'm not flying it quite right. Got the jitters. Is it acrobatic? Oh yeah. still just feels clunky. Like that could be the wind, but I don't think so. See how it just like bites big and how that, that, that might be the wind, but it is really cool when it's not jittery to just look around. Make sure I've always got enough throttle. Try to fly by a home base here. Maybe I'm just never giving it enough. I'm flying it like the Concendo with very little throttle, if any, but these ones I remember you gotta be a little bit more. <laughs> huh. Well, if I can figure out whatever makes it jitter like that, we should be good to go the head tracking itself is a lot better minus of course that but it's, it's just very smooth doesn't drift a whole lot uh, let's see just flaps let's see if we can figure that one out I'll try to land actually see if we can bring it in 
crop stopped. Let's actually, where's the wind going? Wind feels like it's at my face, so like I should land facing this way if possible. No, I should land into the wind. That'd be the opposite way. Ooh. It is stole, so I could just land it in the grass, but I want to try to land it on this uh, diamond here. Go full flaps. Oh. Well, <sighs> another not good landing, but that's what I got. So let's let's try it again. Let's see. Good news is it doesn't look like there's any damage other than just the top lid fell out. And if it wasn't for this little shaking part. Well, the chest cam cut out. I don't know really why. So I went and got a new SD card. But in short, uh, the head tracking worked really, really well. It's just this random jittering that I'll try to figure out. But other than that, the Evo still flies a little clunky. I don't know if it's still a little tail heavy. Uh, but I'll try to fix that. And I actually wanted to go fly it again because it was really, really fun. But as you can see here, the wind actually prevented me from flying at all. It was pushing the plane back, and I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so that's all we got for today, just one flight. But I will uh, keep the Discord updated with any new changes and modifications I make to this IA Evo. But other than that, thanks for watching, and stick around for some more fun flying that we like to share. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.